Armor set and mega. Uh, this will be my first run of a bone stock one. I never um, ran my first one bone stock because I got it with a bad motor. So I'd always have different motors and different ESCs in it. Um, so this is bone stock on the nickel metal. And um, I'm going to run it around nickel metal and then we'll put a 2S in it. And then I think maybe even a 3S. Just for a quick burst to see what kind of speed we can get out of it real fast. Don't want to burn it up prematurely, but we'll see. Slipper was loose. I didn't adjust it, it just wore itself in. So the first minute or so, it was slipping. Uh, just needed to wear in. Seems fine now. Getting in a 20, no, 22 miles an hour with this 8.4 volt nickel metal, which isn't bad. I'd say that's about right. It's about 20-ish. Maybe 22. This thing might just be enough with that with the 27 tooth pinion and a, and a lipo. You know? Probably get close to 30, like the box says. It's pretty peppy uh, for um, for being stock. It's got a lot of torque. Not too much top end with this uh, pinion, but it's plenty torquey for bashing around the yard and stuff like that. Now this is the stock motor, of course. Bone stock. That's pretty good. You can see uh, a kid or even an experienced rider. Not everything's got to go really, really fast. Of course, this one I might turn into my own version of the big rock. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably get a big rock body here. You know what? I'm going to leave this body on it. And I'm just going to get some granite wheels and tires and do some suspension tuning and some trimming and get that 52 kV brushless motor and make this kind of like a big rock. Kind of like what JT did when he uh, added granite wheels and tires to this. But I'm going to get the upgraded input shaft. Um, because it's running big tires, you have a, a, a greater risk of breaking it. That's another thing I was thinking about too. It seems that the granites are breaking their shafts faster and easier than the sentins are. Might be because the sentins longer wheelbase and also oh, first low wreck. And also the size of the tires. You know, the granites moving around real big tires and they're heavier and they're bigger. And so just with that, just that much inertia being, have, being um, you know, you run the risk of, um, you know, breaking something. And with all the torque of brushless and the big tires and the short wheelbase and the short drive shaft, and you're gunning that thing, you're going to break that plastic input shaft. I think these ones are a little bit better suited for it, being that they're longer and they have a longer drive shaft and they have uh, smaller tires. Well, that nickel metal didn't last very long. Um, I think we got about six minutes or so of drive time on that. But anyway, all right, guys. What's up, guys? Real quick, um, I was running my Sentin. Um, I already ran it on nickel metal. I'm going to run it on a 2S, and then we'll do a 3S later. 
And the mail lady came and she brought me this. I forgot I had this coming. These are the Zop batteries. Uh, you might know about them. They're getting kind of common now. This is 7.4 volt. It's a 30C with a 30C burst is what I read on the website. Um, 42 um, hundred milliamps and with the removable leads as you can see here hard case 4200s 2s's 12 bucks yes sir only 12 dollars for these zop hard cases and they're 4200 milliamps 30c rating with a 30c burst got your leads here your balance lead and your plug right here you can remove it in and out from these ports right here and uh, yeah so I decided I make a video real quick because of how good a deal this is uh, $12 for hard case lipos with this much capacity I mean this isn't crazy capacity but to me anything over 3500 milliamp is good 35 and up is what I feel is good 35 to I don't know 65 is what usually um, I've come across so 42 was right in the middle great batteries I've had a couple zops they work great hopefully this one works great too I probably should order another um, I just uh, wanted to try this one out first and if they seem good with a lot of punch and a lot of power I'll probably order maybe two or three more I mean they're 12 bucks there was more than one seller too there's like four sellers selling these for 12 bucks I mean, some might be 13, some might be 11.99, but right in between the, that price, you know. I think this was like 12.29 or something like that from the seller I got it from. And they're from California, so if you're on the West Coast, you'll get it in a matter of a day or two. I think I got this two days later. So depending on where you live, it, it came from down south in Chino, California. So I had to show you guys this, man. I know a lot of you guys run Zop Power. And if you've had good experiences with them, this is a great deal. 2S 30C rating with a 30C burst. Hard case, 4200 milliamp with remo removable leads. And this is what really sold me on it. I needed some leads like this for my next build coming up for the uh, Top Force. I'll be doing the Top Force. I'm not doing the, um, the Subaru anymore. I'm going to do the Tamiya Top Force. And um, these battery... Uh, leads are are needed the strap on the top force has got uh two holes to put your leads through on the battery strap so that's going to work perfect for me anyway i wanted to show you this real quick guys hard cases for 12 dollars with 4200 milliamps of storage of capacity it's crazy and so um yeah i just want to show you this and now i'm going to go run uh this setting on 2s real quick guys all right peace this is on 2S, and it's, it's way peppier. Um, I feel like maybe a mile or two power faster, top speed. So I think they're getting 20 to 22 on the nickel metal. So you probably get 23, 24 with the lipo, but it's not just about uh, top speed with the lipos, it's punch. These uh, lipos discharge rates so high, so much higher, it's just punchier. You just have so much more instant power uh, than you would with nickel metal. You're going to gain a little bit more RPM, but you're going to gain mostly punch. Because this thing is ripping with the lipo. It's really fun, actually. Nice and punchy. So yeah, I probably won't run this one out of the street just now. Um, people are uh, getting off work, so it's kind of too much traffic. They uh, closed my street off because everybody was using it uh, during traffic hours to get away from the, the uh, to get away from the freeway. Uh, and so my street would be all backed up. But uh, they put speed bumps and, and divots and all kind of stuff when they rebuilt the street and made it, you know, not as commuter friendly as it was, so it's not as bad. But there's really no need to go in the street with this right now. 
because it's just going to be maybe a couple miles per hour faster than it was on nickel metal. Uh, you know, so if it was doing 20, 22, it might do 24, 22, 24. Maybe with a 17 tooth pinion and the stock setup would be fun. It's actually not bad at all. I'm digging it. Yeah, but I'm gonna make this a big rock, I think. Or my version of it. Or a big sentin, maybe. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 